the American, the prepper meeting calling frequencies. There's been many videos made on this. I probably started it in 2008 suggesting some, and people have squabbled over it ever since. Now the latest one is MURS frequency 151.820, which would be MURS channel 1. Big thing is, oh, let's get on this frequency. Here's the problem. Every single person, well, not every. I'm not going to say every because there's never a 100% thing. Nearly everybody I, I catch wanting to do this doesn't want to learn anything about how transceivers work. They figure they want to pick it up and talk. And when they do that, with the MURS radios, you're not going to get any better than what you get in, in the Walmart store with your FRS, GMRS, stuff you buy in the bubble wrap. Ain't going to get a bit better performance unless you're willing to learn how antennas work, how to make gain, how to, how to get gain, how your power, radio propagation. Unless you're willing to learn and work your little BB up here, you're not going to get any anything that you're you're planning on doing. The most effective radio for non-licensed, non-licensed. I know, I know. There's going to be a ton, ton of you out there that's going to argue, but you you can't get the part where I'm saying non-licensed. It's just like when you say illegal aliens. People forget about the word illegal. Oh, you can't do that to those people. They have rights. They're illegal. They don't. They don't. The Constitution doesn't apply to somebody that is here illegally. Anyway, okay. So I'm talking about legal radio operations. Ham radio or amateur radio is the best option if you're willing to learn. If not, CB radio is your best option. And even with CB radio, you're going to have to learn how to tune an antenna. The GMS RS radio is another one, but it requires a license in order to set up repeaters and uh, external antennas and all like that. That's your GMRS. But it requires a $75 license to operate it. And the FCC does monitor that one. Because if you cause interference, they will come knock on your door and take your birthday away from you. Or at least a lot of money. CB radio is kind of, they've kind of thrown up their hands on it and said, well, you know, just too much. They're not going to police it. So, that is a good and bad thing. The bad part is everybody tries to walk on each other. However, if you get a decent sideband radio and a decent antenna like an Antron 99, you take that antenna and get it above your trees. You know, whatever, if there's 60 foot trees around your house, you need to get the base of that antenna up at least 65 feet. You do that, and you shouldn't have too much problem on quiet days talking 30 miles. Quiet days. That's, that's when all the people running power aren't arguing because the sunspots are causing skip. CB is not regulated. You, it's like it's like YouTube. You got a bunch of trolls out there, <clears throat> and if they figure if you can't track them down and knock a hole in their upside their head with a hammer, they can say whatever they want. That's kind of like the way eighty and one hundred and sixty meters is with ham radio. It's kind of hard to direction find those frequencies. Now, when you get around six meters, two meters, you can use a direction finder fairly easily. And find out where you're at and call the cops on you. And ham radio operators will call the cops on you. You know why? Because we, there's a certain radio etiquette that allows us to use the frequencies properly. 
Without that etiquette, the radio is useless. Too many people trying to talk over each other, not waiting to take their turns, being rude. You know, personally, I think it's it has to be done. It's like self-policing yourself. I know back in CB times, we'd have people that were uh, causing a lot of trouble, you know, keying up. I'm not talking about disagreeing political stuff. I'm talking about keying up on people and whistling and uh, trying to keep other people from talking and stuff like that and being habitual about it. It wasn't nothing. To find. We found out who they were, go up outside their house, take a little pin and stick it in the coax where it touched the outer part, hit the inner part, and they'd be keying up on their powerful radio. And when that direct short happened, it would burn up hundreds of dollars worth of equipment. Anyway, what I've got listed below is frequencies, a set of frequencies that preppers can use. Most of them are picked from other people's lists. The American Pre Preparedness Radio Net, or APRN, or AP, APN, American Preparedness Radio, is not radio. Okay, those people are not radio. That is internet only. That is only internet. That's only a group of people on the internet interested in making money off of people's fear. All that advertisement is a, is a small group of people. They know who they are. They got they went on YouTube and blasted out a bunch of videos. Got a bunch of subscribers by not you know how they got subscribers by not offending anybody. That's why I haven't got that many subscribers, and that's why they kicked me off. All right? So the uh, American Preparedness Network, or American Radio, anyway, American Preparedness Radio. They are not radio, internet only. If poo hits the fan, internet goes down, those people will be worthless. And most of, most of them that run that thing aren't smart enough to uh, get a ham license. Ham license isn't so much about the license, it's about the knowledge of how things work. So, uh, yeah, I would highly recommend you at least get the technician license uh, for local communications. You can run more power, like uh, six meters running 100 watts or 200 watts, you can you can communicate a pretty good ways on that. You want to get a little better, you can, you can move to 10 meters sideband and pump out 100 watts and go 30 miles between your base and mobile. It can be done because the channels are clear. That's why you can do it, because there's open frequencies. Whereas like CB radio, you got people trying to walk on each other. They're rude. Hopefully, after an EMP or something, they would be gone. Then the radio would be quiet again. <laughs> but it's just like YouTube on those frequencies. On those frequencies that aren't licenses aren't required, or the one that it's hard to direction find, just like YouTube. Trolls get in there, and they're brave. They've got the libtard laws protecting them. Oh, you can't come do nothing to me. I'll sue you. That just goes to prove some people are alive just because it's illegal to kill them. So anyway, look at the information below. You pick out your frequencies. And if y'all want, if your neighborhoods want to pick times, 8 p.m. every night, flip on your radio. Now, a really ideal thing would be to get your GMRS radio, an external antenna, because GMRS is up in the 440 megahertz, well, 450 megahertz range. Don't have to worry about skip. Don't have to worry about sunspots. If you have a tall enough antenna, you can set the code, the CTSS code, where gibberish won't keep your, won't, key your radio. 
And if you got an FRS, GM, RS radio, those, you need to learn to use those codes. If, if, you, if you can't even take the time to learn those uh, digital and analog codes, don't even worry with radio. Don't even worry with it because everything takes knowledge. And if you're not willing to sit down and learn a little bit, Find somebody else in your family that is, because communications and using transceivers properly takes a little bit of brain power. You're going to have to learn basic electronics, basic radio theory, and it's not going to happen overnight. And I, the reason I don't do videos on it anymore is because most people are too lazy to read the book. I tell you to buy a book, that way you know what questions to ask. If you read a book, and then you have a question out of that book, I'll be more than happy to answer your question. But if you just sit here and tell me to read that book for you, I'm going to tell you you're a lazy ass, and don't worry about it. All right? That's why I don't do videos on, on communications, hardly ever. People are too lazy. They want to watch a video on everything. I mean, there's videos out there that help give you the right things, but come on, you've got to pick up a book and read it. If you can't read, you need to go back to school. So look below for more for the frequencies, uh, and anybody can get together and make up the times, whatever they want to do.